there we go. <laughs> All right, how you guys I think we showed a little more consistency there, especially uh, you know putting some drives together. We were able to sustain the drives. Uh, did a better job on third down of executing, and and it, like I said, being able to elongate some of those drives and, and get more plays, get more runs called uh, as a result of those drives being extended. I guess how much of what happened can you say was sort of like the way Atlanta was playing you versus you guys just trying to do some of that stuff a little bit more last week or? Yeah, I think a lot of it was, uh, you know, just us trying to trying to uh, be who we are, who we want to be on offense. Uh, Atlanta's a great defense. You know, they provided a lot of different challenges with their structure and with uh, the way Coach Pease had those guys rolling. But, you know, for us, a lot of it's going to always come back to, you know, how do we compete down in and down out, and how do we go out there and execute as an offense. What's your three-game progress report on Geno? Yeah, I think he's been very consistent, you know, right from the start, uh, finding completions, uh, rarely, you know, getting off uh, off base pre-snap with any of the looks. You know, he's done a good job with, with really understanding what's going on with each game plan and, and just continuing to grow and progress and uh, get the get the familiarity between he and I as the games are going uh, on, as the season's going on. Uh, I thought he really exhibited it this past game as well. What, what happened with the, the third down and then you're going to go for it maybe on fourth down and then ended up not going for it? Yeah, we had it with Otto, and then it just didn't work out, and then we ended up using that time out there and, and talked through it and decided the best thing right there was to go ahead and take the points. You guys have converted a couple of fourth downs only in the game. I think. Was, was there a temptation to want to try to go for it? There? Yeah, I think each one of those third, uh, third down to fourth down transitions, right, there's going to be the you know the feel of the game or the timing of the game and, and just making the best decision at that moment uh, of what we want to do. But Marquise did an excellent job you know, on the, on the previous one of executing, uh, running that crossing route, and had another jo uh, nice job where – Gino got us to the line of scrimmage where there was a little bit of a of a delay on how they were marking the ball at the end there, and then the, I think you know the players having great ownership of the of the offense. Uh, when we run the ball off the left side there to get those targeted when it was kind of a funky look there, but you know just take, taking each one of those uh, circumstances into account and, and and making the best decision at the time. As a play caller, you obviously have to take into account protection and how much time the quarterback's going to have. With the two rookies out there, are you, are you maybe surprised by how? I guess maybe how free you are to call what you want versus was there concern that, okay, we got two rookies, it might be tough on them. Yeah, I think they've done a good job. They've done a good job right from uh, OTAs on, like I had mentioned in the past, and and really gave us that comfort level to, to jump right into our offense. And you know, like like any tackle in the league, there's there's going to be certain looks and certain instances where you got to protect those guys. There's elite edge rushers every week that you're going into play. Uh, and, you know, this week will be the same with a, with a great pass rush, with great stunts, great great blitz packages, all the stuff that we're going to see from Detroit. So just being mindful of that every week. But these guys came in as pros and, and demonstrated that they were ready to to step right in and play. And they've done a great job of, of really, uh, you know, eliminating that 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 rookie uh, uh, tag behind their names right now in, in terms of our minds as coaches, and we're just out there playing football. Does, uh, does DJ just step into Travis Homer's role now, or, or is there other potential things that could happen there? Or? Yeah, I think that all the running backs have a chance. Uh, you know, it's, it's a it's a shame for Travis to get hurt there, but you know he was doing a great job for us. But all the guys will pick up the slack there, and and DJ's done a nice job when he has to step in in that role. And uh, you know, all those guys can play on third down. They can all play on first and second down. So we got a nice a nice group of backs there that have a good understanding of our of our full offense. So like anything, with someone uh, uh, goes down, you don't usually just replace them with one guy. We got to get all the guys stepping up a little bit more and, and helping out and filling that void. What do you see that Detroit defensively so far? I think they play hard, man. It, it, Coach Glenn, he's got them flying around. You know, they're playing, uh, you know, really, really well on the back end. They're really uh, doing a nice job in a lot of their press and mixing and maxing coverages. And then their front seven is just rolling off the ball. They're running. They're they're chasing the football. They're putting a lot of pressure on the quarterback. And, and they're really doing a good job chasing down the run game. So it'll be a great challenge for us to come out with that intensity and, and matching that right from the jump. It's only been a couple of games. How have you seen them using Hutchinson? Just in terms of playing his defensive end position, yeah, I mean, he's doing a great job. Another guy that you say, hey, he's a rookie, but he stepped right in and, and he's putting a lot of pressure on the quarterback. I know he had the, the three sack game and he does just such an excellent job with, with his pass rush lanes, uh, his motors nonstop. You know, he doesn't stay blocked very long. So having an awareness of him, he's, he's doing a great job as a rookie. In terms of the, the red zone, what do you guys think you did? Yeah, I think uh, being, you know, first of all, starting with me, doing a good job putting our players in the best position uh, to make plays when we get down there in the red zone, and then also eliminating any of the, the negative plays, you know, kind of talked about this, of, of eliminating those on third down. They've crept up a little bit us on us in the red zone. So doing a good job eliminating penalties and just keep advancing the ball so we get a better opportunity to score each time we're down there. Is there a difference? You guys are really good overall on third down. 
Yeah, a couple, you know, they got, they were able to get to us, you know, in that last third down, they were able to get to us on a little pressure there that stuck us in that fourth and long, you know, earlier on at the end of the two minute drive, they had a, a stop on us in, in a, in a red zone third down. So just executing in those third downs, you know, did a good job in the field and then continuing that into the red zone. Obviously, every time we're down there, you know, we want to get points, but uh, touchdowns are, are what our goal is every single time we're inside there. Good. Anything else? Thanks, guys. All right. Thanks, guys.